Hello friends, so today let's see a small update on this growing pandemic that is COVID and diabetes mellitus. So what happens normally is the coronavirus belonging to the SARS family is going to enter your cell through the ACE2 receptor. This receptor is present on the surface of the epithelium of cells of lungs, liver, GIT, kidney and skin. So as it enters, it is going to disrupt your function of ACE2. So let's see what is a normal function of ACE2. It is going to maintain your blood pressure. It is going to regulate your renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. It is going to help in wound healing and inflammation. So now let's see how this COVID or coronavirus is entering your cell and disrupting your AC2 function. So this is your coronavirus. Here this is your ACE2 receptor. So the normal function of ACE2 is deranged by binding of this virus to your receptor by a lock and key method. Now this virus is entering your cell, virus replication takes place and there is derangement of ACE2 function. So what happens? There will be elevated levels of inflammatory markers like IL-6, ferritin, CRP and D-dimer. And what happens in pneumocytes? Pneumocytes present in lungs, there also AC2 function is disrupted leading to acute respiratory distress syndrome which is the end stage of COVID pathogenesis. Okay. So now let's see the role of insulin hormone. Insulin is a hormone which stimulates your sodium H plus exchanger pump so before this for the coronavirus to enter your cell the medium required is acidic that is your pH should be less this is favorable for the virus to get adhered to AC2 receptor now what is the role of this insulin hormone it stimulates your sodium H plus exchanger and there will be more accumulation of H plus leading to alkalosis. So alkalosis is not a favorable condition. So there will be decreased possibility of the virus getting attached to the ACE2 receptor. So what happens in diabetes mellitus where there is no insulin? When there is no insulin, there is no stimulation of sodium H plus exchanger and there is no alkalosis, meaning there is a decrease in pH acidosis which favors your attachment of virus to AC2 receptor and there will be more derangement. Okay, so diabetes patients are more at risk of getting affected by this pandemic, more than 50 percentage risk than non-diabetes patients. So now what is the take home message? The take home message is people who are diabetic should be under strict
strict glycemic control preferably with help of insulin to avoid the complications by coronavirus okay thank you